but I'd come down and stay with him at the Junior World Championships. We'd do some, some sessions. It was pretty cool of how it helped me uh, understand a different part of my creativity. Tiger was tremendous because he has such a gifted creative imagination. I could never control it. I mean, I, could I couldn't fathom someone saying, you know, visualize the golf shot. Well, I visualize, I see this ball going every which way. My creative mind will never see me a golf, a golf shot doing this or doing this. My mind would not let me to do that. It'd see it going all over the place. So he said, why don't you just feel it? Use, use your hands, use your fingers, use your, your body awareness to, to harness your creativity that way and, and come up with an answer. And um, he was very instrumental in, in teaching me how to control my creative mind. I sort of used to chuckle when everybody would say, oh, wow, that tiger, he hits it so far. And I'd sort of gently say, well, he does. He's long off the tee, and he's got a great power game. He said that the genius of Tiger Woods is his creative imagination in the short game. tend to have these these blackout moments where I don't remember. I know I was there, but I don't remember actually performing the golf shot. The athlete in the peak performance zone uh, is 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 really in a in a kind of a heightened state of awareness uh, and absorbed focus. There's an element of relaxation response that goes on in there. And they're always in the here and the now with kind of a clear, uncluttered mind, just absorbed in the moment, letting the performance happen rather than thinking about or helping the performance happen. I get so entrenched on the moment I guess my subconscious might take over. I don't know what the whole terminology is, but there are many putts, there are many shots where I don't remember hitting. I know, I remember seeing the ball flight. I remember preparing for the shot, pulling the club out of the bag, and once I'm behind the ball, I'm walking in the shot, I don't remember until I see the ball leave. It's a, it's a, weird, a weird thing. to get that focus and that process to take place within a time frame. I call it the 40-second sanctuary of the pre-shot routine. The more intense the situation gets, the calmer I feel, the more things slow down. It's, it's a weird sensation. It's hard to kind of articulate on it. For some reason, the last few holes take forever but they may be happening a lot faster for some reason, but they seem like they're taking the longer. There are a lot of times where I don't hear noise. I don't, I don't hear anything. It's just I've become so enthralled in that particular moment, hitting a shot, performing a, a task, and being mentally prepared for that shot. It's almost as if I get out of the way um, because of the training. When my father was in the Special Forces, there were a lot of times when he said the training would just take over 
and it was as if my body was doing the work and I was just sitting back and watching it do it. And that's what it feels like when you're in, in, in golf. Well, for me, is that it just happens. I just get out of my own way and let the training just take over.